Okay, let's do another exam question walkthrough. Let's look at a question regarding resistors in parallel. So let's look. Here's a question we might look at in an exam. We're being asked here, the below resistors are connected in parallel. Calculate the resistance total, total resistance. So again, you might see it written like this sometimes, just means resistance total. So straight away, let's think what we did last time with the series one. We want to know what our formula is in order to calculate the total resistance in a parallel circuit if we've been given these values. So let's write out what our formula is. So the formula for this is going to be 1 over the resistance total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Or however many we've got. There could be more than this. There could be 4. Let me just have 1 um, over R4 there. So anyway, let's circle this off for a sec, get that out of the way. Okay, so we know here, let's label these up again like we did last time. So let's call 3 ohms can be R1, 6 ohms can be R2, and 9 ohms can be R3. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. There's one with a calculator, which I'm going to show you in this example, and then there's one by using the lowest common denominator, which we'll do in the next video. So there's two ways you can work out the total resistance in parallel when there's more than two resistors. So we've got three resistors here, so let's do it. Let's do the calculator method. So calculator method. Right. In order to do this calculator method, we've got to be aware of this button on our calculator, which looks like this, x to the minus 1. And that's basically a reciprocal, which is what we're dealing with here. These are all reciprocals, aren't they? So the resistance total currently is a reciprocal of the resistance total. So don't worry too much about what that means. Just take it for what I'm telling you here. So on your calculator, you want to look for this button, or it may look like this, 1 over x. Okay? And that's the reciprocal, like we said. So I want to remember that. So anyway, for this calculator method, what we're going to do. So here's how we're going to write it out. We're going to write 1 over RT, resistance total, is equal to, and then in our case, we've got our resistors, which is going to be 1 over 3 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms plus 1 over 9 ohms. Okay, so an easy way for us to write this out in our calculator to do this is like this. We just want to take these values of these resistors, 3, 6, and 9, and write it out like this. We want to type into our calculator exactly as we see it now. We want to type 3x to the minus 1 plus the next resistor, 6x to the minus 1 plus the next one, 9x to the minus 1. And then we want to hit equals on that. And what that's going to give you, if you type that into your calculator, that's going to give you a value of this, 0 0.61. But we're not done at this stage. We're not done yet. Because, look, what we've just done is a reciprocal of the resistance total. So what we need to do now in our calculators is the last step in order to achieve this is once we've got this value of 0 0.61 in our calculator, we leave that on the screen and we press this button again one more time, x to the minus 1. And then we hit equals. So we're asking for the reciprocal of this number, basically. And then what that's going to give us in our calculators now, it's going to give us 1.63 recurring. But we can say that this is equal to 1.64 ohms. So the resistance total in this circuit is 1.64 ohms. A way for us to check that is, if you remember, what we've said in the past is the resistance total yeah, in a parallel circuit, which we're dealing with here, a parallel circuit, is always lower than any individual resistor. So the resistance total that we got, 1.64, whatever total we get on our calculators, we've got to make sure we can double check our answer by checking that that is lower than any individual resistor. Okay, let's recap. So we read the question. The below resistors are connected in parallel. Calculate the resistance total. So straight away we wrote our formula out, which was 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay, so we got that. And then this time we're doing a calculator method, aren't we? So we want to be looking for the one, of, one of these two buttons on our calculator in order to do this. It's going to look like x to the minus 1 or 1 over x, which is basically a reciprocal function on your calculator. Now when we write this out now, this is how we want to, wants to look. So our formula was up here, we've just put our values in here, look, R1. 
R1, which is three ohms. And we'll just carry this through. So one over RT equals one over three plus one over six plus one over nine. So the value of our resistor below, and we've got reciprocal of each one. Okay, so to keep this as simple as we can, we've done this calculator method where all we're gonna do is get each value of each resistor and type it into our calculator. Now, this is how you type in this reciprocal into your calculator. So we typed three X to the minus one plus six X to the minus one plus nine X to the minus one equals 0 0.61. But remember, we're not done at this stage. We have to press the reciprocal button one more time. So we press X to the minus one when we've still got this on our screen on our calculator, 0 0.61. So we've just hit equals, we've got this. We wanna hit this button one more time and that's gonna give us our correct answer of 1.63 recurring, which is 1.64 we could round it up to. So that's the resistance total in this circuit. And then to check our answer, if you remember, remember that the total resistance in the uh, for resistors in parallel, the total resistance is always less than any individual resistor. Okay?